Give me a fun intro to this video about electronics, embedded devices, and DIY stuff. Are you ready to get your hands dirty and dive into the exciting world of electronics, embedded devices, and DIY projects? Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what we're here for. Whether you're a seasoned expert or just getting started, this video is for you. We'll be covering everything from basic circuits to advanced embedded devices and even some cool DIY projects along the way. So, grab your soldering iron, put on your safety glasses, and let's get started. Yo guys, let's do a quick demonstration on how we can build a chat GPT smart speaker. This is just stringing together libraries. So if we look at um, this one right over here, just chat GPT wrapper pretty much just launches playwright in the background, which is a browser automation tool. So it is a little bit slow to use, but it is reliable. Now, as far as voice recognition, the easiest thing to do is to use Google speech to text. Um, they also have a Python library. We do want to have a hot word, hot keyword detection. Um, so for that, I'm going to use this library called speech recognition. And with speech recognition, we're going to use this Vosk API. And that's pretty much the only libraries we need. Also, if you do want to add an LED to there, I use this one library called WS28X so that we control the NeoPixel. Like I said, this is just stringing together libraries. So uh, we create some functions, one just to sample the audio. The one thing we will need to read a response is MPG123. This is a Linux Unix program to play MP3 audio. Um, so you definitely will need that. Then yeah, we pretty much string this together. We have a put in a while loop and this is what we have to create a chat GPT smart speaker. So once we do that, we're going to transfer this all to a Raspberry Pi 4 and we're going to try to make a like little chunky speaker. So for that, we go to Fusion 360 and pretty much we design a speaker that will 3D print. Just a warning, this speaker did take like over a day to 3D print. Um, you could probably make it a lot smaller than I did. Uh, I was trying to go for some, you know, modern fancy design that didn't really fully work out, but it, it still serves its purpose. So once we have that, we use Raspberry Pi Imager, we burn it. Make sure you do choose a 64-bit OS. We're gonna do Raspberry Pi Other, then let's go to Ubuntu, and then 64-bit Ubuntu. You definitely need a desktop version because you need to sign into Playwright in order for that library to work. But that's pretty much it. So we string this all together on Raspberry Pi 4, we connect it, and now we have a working prototype of a chat GPT smart speaker. Computer. The offline detection is kind of slow, which is a bummer. I'm sure there's ways to optimize this, but you know, this is just a quick weekend project, so I'm not gonna overstress about it. So guys, that has been pretty much how I built this chat GPT speaker. It's very easy to do. If you haven't checked out Jet chat GTP, I highly recommend you do it. It's really cool and a very interesting technology and just, yeah, very fun to play around with. So as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks. Sure, here's a rap incorporating Lil Nas X, Drake, and Rihanna. Verse 1, Lil Nas X, I'm the king of country rap, got the horses in the back I'm making waves. Breaking records got the world singing my tracks. Verse 2, Drake, I'm the sixth god, the king of the north making hits, breaking charts, what's it worth? I'm unstoppable, invincible with Lil Nas X and Rihanna, it's indivisible. Verse 3, Rihanna, I'm the queen of pop. Making moves, breaking hearts, chasing dreams. What's the news? With Lil Nas X and Drake on my side, we're taking over. We can't be denied. Chorus, Lil Nas X, Drake, and Rihanna, the trinity of music. David. Oh my god, Tina, I love your glasses. They're so cute. Tina, thanks. I like your sweater. Is it cashmere? David. Yes, it is. I love a good cashmere sweater. Tina. Me too. I have one in every color. David. Wow, that's impressive. So, what brings you to Schitt's Creek? Tina. Oh, I'm just passing through. I heard there was a good burger place here, and I had to check it out. David. Well, I hope you find it. Schitt's Creek is a pretty small town, but there are a few hidden gems around here. Tina. 
Yeah, I heard about the general store. Do they sell cheese curds? David, they do. And they have the best maple syrup.